Hi, I'm Sharice Jones, CEO of Sassy Jones. I built this brand with three things, a relentless desire to help me feel undeniably confident, my minivan, and in my kitchen, now turned into a multi-million dollar empire. Come behind the scenes and see how it is all done. Welcome to the Sassy Jones Show. Guess what, Eric? What? We got walls. Oh. We we got walls. I'm gonna take you in so you can see all the walls that are in the house and what has been going on since the last update. So welcome to the Sassy Jones Show. I'm Sharice Jones, CEO of Sassy Jones. Today I'm gonna give you guys an update that y'all have be, been DMing about, emailing about. So today is the day where you get to see what's going on with the house, Sharice. You wanna know? Come on. What has happened since the last time we talked is a lot of uh, underground sort of things, right? You know how you like plant a flower and like half the process happens underground until like it sprouts. There has been roofing. That was visual. I was happy to see something visual happening, right? So the roof is on HVAC, um, which is done perfectly. We use a black owned company, by the way. And um, electricity um, has all been wired and literally, Keon, while I have been uh, opening the store, this has been Keon's baby, my husband. He has been here telling them where every single light goes and how many outlets and all. And this is a pretty big home to do that. So he's been handling it on his own while I've been having the other baby. So let me give you an update as to what uh, has been happening. So we decided to go with um, a very wide uh, shingle. Love this, um, love this color, and it's it's sort of like a uh, mixed tone with the metal roof and then the uh, regular shingle. <gasps> and we have a door, a whole door, a whole door. We have to celebrate all the small blessings, all the small victories, right? So, fun fact: the door actually arrived damaged, right? So, um, it wasn't even the glass; it was the metal. It was bent, so they couldn't actually install it. So uh, the manufacturer, they were lovely. They were able to correct that. But yeah, we got a door. So let's go on in and see what else we got. My experience with this so far, anytime you're building a house, have patience. Pack a, pack a lot of patience. As you can see, they are installing the drywall. And after this, we'll do all of the cosmetic things. Wow, this is Keon's office. I personally feel like when the walls are up, the room looks bigger because there is actual definition to the space. With the wood, you see through it, you can't really get an idea of like, you know, the definition. So it's lovely to see that it's coming together. Okay. Yeah. It's lovely. If you remember, this is our guest bedroom on the first level. And uh, I'm happy to see, oh my goodness, the size of it looks lovely. So I actually have some decisions to make with um, our interior designer, um, who as you know, um, is a dear from uh, Netflix, Silent Hollywood. And there were some samples that were sent that I need to make um, some final choices on. Okay, and don't mind the noise. They're literally um, building the house. So you gonna have to not mind the noise because I need this house built, okay? <laughs> so, all right, so I have a decision to make as to what is happening on the side paneling of the fireplace, right? So what's gonna happen is this entire center floor to ceiling will be brass. The side of it, we are doing a textured linen wallpaper and um, when I saw the rendering, it looked a little dark to me and we want to keep this light bright and airy. So I wanted to see it in person. Like the renderings are cute. It's just like when we design, like the, the cat is cute, but I need to feel it and try it on and throw it across the room, right? Y'all know that. So let's see. So if the center is going to be gold, we can either go with A on the side and there's going to be um, hidden shelving as well. Um, or B. So they're essentially the same design. One is gray and one is silver. And I think I know which one I am leaning more toward. So at the end of the video, I'll let you know what I have decided. But type in the comments below what you think, whether you would go with the deep, deep gray or go with pure on mixed metals with gold and silver. Let me know. Ah, so remember I was telling you that in the last video, we decided to like make this a dining room like out of nowhere at the last minute. I love how the tops uh, of the ceiling sort of just drop down to give the, the space some, you know, some power. And let's see what the kitchen's looking like. Okay, 
So after they're done with the drywall, then I guess we'll go to flooring, and then after flooring, we'll go to appliances and all the cute stuff. But I'm just so amazed at how different it looks. Like, yeah, so this is the second kitchen. Before, I mean, plywood, and I guess what they'll do after this. So this um, is the first step, and then they're gonna mud. And then after the mudding, um, the actual walls will be hung or installed. So, listen, I'm happy to see this. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to see this. Oh, you wanna know what else I'm happy to see? That three-story closet. So let's check it out and see what it looks like with some walls. It has been such a, um, a process designing my closet slash office. So all three levels are my closet, but this rotunda space back here will be my office. And we have gone through rounds and rounds of um, edits for the layout, but what we have decided for this space is it will be themed as the Japanese garden. Oh, oh my goodness, and when I tell you, it is magical. So here is the actual rendering, but there's some work that still has to be done to the furniture, but the walls are good, and we're actually going to install some drapes, some sheer drapes from the ceiling. I want you to think, um, Wedding in a tent outside. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, can you come under, Eric? Let's go. Yeah. So, this is the ceiling that we are going to drape, and then we'll also drape off the entrance to add um, a little bit of difference from closet to office. So, lovely, lovely. So, let's check out upstairs. See, uh, see what they're doing. Why are they making all that noise? Come back through. So I love Julian's room. I mean, he has rotunda with seven windows. My goodness, for a seven-year-old, it's pretty dope. He has a nice bright and airy room. Lovely. That's coming along good. Nice closet. Right now they actually share a closet, so what a blessing it'll be to have their own independent space, you know? I mean, with the twin thing, they're so used to sharing everything, so I think it's the right age for them to sort of, you know, start to become their own independent person, even in their space, because they're in two different classrooms, and like I could start to see like how they're missing one another because it's the first time being separated. So it was just encouraging them to like, be you, you don't have to consult the other, just, you know, Jackson be Jackson, Julian be Julian, you know, but it's a, a twin thing. How old are they now? They're seven. Yeah, they're seven, so they'll still be seven by the time we move in the house. Um, Lord willing. Yeah, we get all the, we get all the way past July. Something's very wrong. Yeah, pray. So <laughs> something went wrong, but yeah, so uh, fun fact, this is actually scheduled for move-in first quarter of next year. So February, March, which is a lovely time to move as well because then we'll be able to enjoy it for the summertime with the pool and all. So that I'm excited about. Jackson's room and his closet is massive. Jackson is actually the one who's gonna need most, most of the clothes, right? Cause he's like Rico Suave. He cares about how he looks, his shirt tucked in. His appearance is so important to him. He's like, mama, this ain't right. I'm like, okay. You didn't put moisturizer in my hair today. I'm like, okay, all right, let's go back and do it. Julian is like, ah, he doesn't care. So, nice last closet for him. So you wanna know another decision that we made in real time? So we removed the steps to this house. Yep, yep. I know Eric behind the camera is looking like, what? Let me give you a little story. So this house was architecturally designed to have a spiral staircase right in front of these windows here, right? And we have a staircase right there. We have an elevator, and we also have a third staircase in my closet. So essentially, existing as is, there are four ways to get upstairs and downstairs, right? And so I'm like, do we need four ways to get upstairs and downstairs? And if I take the, the stairs out, if we take the stairs out, will that open up more space? Because the fact is, those stairs weren't useful. But we're used to seeing them and thinking that we need them when there are three other ways to get upstairs, right? So um, our builder's dad actually came up with the idea. He was like, he said, you should let go of the steps. And I'm like, and for me, in the beginning, I'm like, what do you mean? And then I thought about it, I was like, well, there are two other stairways plus the elevator, so 
So meet the stairless upstairs. <laughs> Come on. All right, so into the bedroom. I actually chose the marble that's gonna go here. It's an Icelandic marble. It is stunning, it is um, purple, but the entire bedroom is gonna be in jewel tones. And there's a custom floor um, to ceiling headboard, uh, tufted headboard that we are getting designed as well. It is lovely. And fun fact, we're actually not gonna put a TV in our bedroom. We normally do. Uh, we'll have a TV in the boys' room and also the gym and of course the movie theater. But in this space, it's just meant for serenity and zen. And when we're here, we wanna relax. In fact, there's no TV going in the living room either. Yeah, so when we're there, we're going to be. We changed the name to the being room rather than the living room. So we just really wanna feel, um, you know, grounded without a lot of distractions and really enjoy one another because TV is, um, if you think about it, it's a distraction. So, This is the lanai, and uh, we decided to go with a uh, phantom blind, so even if it's snowing back here, we'll be able to come, press a button, and the entire thing gets closed in. That's gonna, um, if you see the, the little, um, the bracket there, so the phantom is gonna go in between there. Um, the lights are all in the HVAC. Actually, our, um, yeah, lights are all in the HVAC, and actually, the HVAC company, um, they're family friends uh, with Keon's family, and some of the family actually went to high school with Keon, so when we were thinking about like who to use for HVAC, it was a no-brainer, and they did an absolute amazing job in really quick turnaround time, too, so. So happy with that. Now, on the exterior, as you can see, this is, um, I guess part of the installation, and so what's gonna happen after this is they'll start to work on the exterior, which is going to be stucco, and there's some stone um, going around the perimeter, so that's gonna be very lovely, but it's essentially gonna be a White House. Okay, so, recently got an amazing birthday gift. Absolutely mind-blowing. So my husband for my birthday got me a painting of my grandfather. And, but it was symbolic. So my grandfather passed about five years ago now. And um, recently I went to Aruba, conquered one of my biggest fears, which was swimming in an ocean without a life jacket. But the painting had him there in the ocean. My symbol for him is a rainbow. So every time I see a rainbow, I think of him. And so there was a little rainbow down in the corner as well. But my point for that story is that that painting is going right here. And so we'll it probably end up doing a floor to ceiling mirror here. And this is Keon's closet. Yay, Keon. And uh, the bathroom. Now the bathroom is actually bigger than our current bedroom right now. But it looks so different. Remember when the last time I showed y'all, I had all that, that Framing, it looks way different now, right? But you wanna know what's the same? The toilet room. <laughs> so the, the toilet room is actually, me and Keon were talking about this the other day. It's actually the same size as our toilet room right now in our home. So no upgrade there, <laughs> upgrade everywhere else. So yay, I'm loving this. And just a reminder, remember we talked about the wet room. So the bathroom, all of the wiring is set up for that. The bathtub is gonna be right here in the center and then there will be uh, what we call a car wash shower on uh, both ends, his and hers, and thank God. <laughs> Meditation steam room. I'm so excited about this because I love steam rooms. Like with my allergies, with like my facials, and then like deep conditionings, like girl, like I, I'm finna glow, I'm glowing now, but I'm finna glow after this room. I can't wait. Oh, and it has a, um, a sauna too. Infrared sauna, girl, yeah, detox, all, all that. So, yeah, so closet is coming along. I can see it already. So, Keon was literally telling um, the electrician where to put the lighting. So, if you can see, that's all roughed in for the light to get ready to go. And then there will be a chandelier in the center. But also, this particular rough in is for the chandelier that's gonna drop all the way um, 
down to the main level. So that's gonna be absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait. And Keon, so we watch reality shows, not for the drama, but for the lifestyle. We like to see what the homes and stuff look like and like what bedding sheets they buy. <laughs> we do, right? So let me show you something that I knew that Keon got from uh, watching the Kardashians. So he said, yeah. So he's going with a light dark, light dark uh, lighting model. So these are spaced, it's actually probably better on the first floor and I'll show you. But he decided to space these out a bit because he said that the light dark, light dark makes the hallway look longer. <laughs> That's what he said. He was like, yeah, I seen it in Kim Kardashian's house. I was like, okay, babe. You know, sometimes you just gotta be like, okay, babe. <laughs> so, that's the okay, babe, right? So, um, you wanna go in the basement? It's really cool down there, because it's not outside there. So upstairs is the, um, kind of like our attic, or we called it like the penthouse, but that's where we're gonna put all of our extras. We have a storage in the basement too, but for our uh, upper, like our bedroom level storage, it'll be up there. I love this, it's hot outside today so it feels cooler down here already. But listen, like I told y'all, this basement is bigger than our house right now. Um, over just about 4,000 square feet down here. So dining room area, um, I got recently went to Africa, I have some beautiful things. I think I wanna make this reminiscent of that trip as far as the decor. This is the basement area. Um, loving this because it actually feels like, oh, I can just see us down here now, laughing, having a good time, dreams. You know, it's gonna be beautiful. So this back patio area, um, this will be a whole moment and then there will be steps that go up to the main backyard area. And then there's the outdoor storage. Um, you know, pool toys, fun things, fun things, fun things. So, come on back. Oh, the bar's looking good. Good, good, good. Keon had the bright idea of, um, actually taking some of the wine room and making a kitchen in the bar, like a full on kitchen in the bar. So this is the bar. Um, he cut a hole right here, or had a hole cut here. And uh, this is gonna be like the kitchen area so we can legit cook, refrigerator, you know, things like that down here. You don't wanna go upstairs. And then this will be uh, the wine area, which I think is plenty. Um, and then we'll just refill when we need to refill. It's getting darker, but if you can tell, the movie theater um, platforms are actually up the tiers. So let me see, can you see Eric? One second, yep. Yeah. Yep, so there's one platform. Here's the steps on both sides. and our PJs and just be lazy. This is the be lazy area. The gym looks way bigger. It's crazy. Wow. Nice. Oh, here's a good example. So remember we were talking about the Kim Kardashian lights for whatever reason? So here's a good example of how they are spaced out. So when you're walking, there's a light here, but there's darkness here and there's a light here, right? So it has that um, on off, on off effect. And uh, okay, the bottom level of the closet. So these steps will actually spiral all the way up to the third floor. So um, from, from my closet, so I can decide to get up there with the elevator, those other steps, or these steps. But um, we all know what steps I'll be using because we all know where I'm gonna be. So, and even the rotunda, like this is just, um, oh my God. it even makes me want to design so much more to just has so many things on display here, but there's a lifetime for that. So the fun fact is um, we're designing most of the house, but with the other spaces that are not designed and already spoken for, we're gonna allow ourselves to come in and have a space speak to us so that the house can tell us what it needs from us. I thought about before I jumped into this, like, oh yeah, we move and we have everything done, da, 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 right? And I'm like, I don't want to prematurely define what the space is gonna be before I even have the experience of living in it, right? And once you have the experience of living in it, things can change, you change your mind. You, and I didn't wanna pay for design and I end up redoing or overdoing something myself. 
y'all know y'all do and I do too. So, <laughs> right, so it needs to be crisp and on point. So we're gonna give ourselves the space to be able to do that. And that I'm very excited about because as time goes, the more you travel, the more life experiences you get, the more your creativity sparks and you never know, you never know what can happen, so. Oh, and here is, um, here's a really good example of good HVAC, I guess, I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, the down, the basement level storage. So, that is the update on the house. And actually, I think I need to decide, yeah, I think I need to decide on some tile for the bathroom. So let me do that so I don't, you know, I don't prolong anything. Okay, so based off of the rendering, I need to decide which, um, which goat we're gonna go with for the wall, but I definitely wanna do something different on the floor. Um, and I actually think I wanna do a different scale on the floor as well. So for the wall, oof, I can definitely do process of elimination. It ain't gonna be these two. Those two are a little bit too basic. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling it. Na, 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 na. Yeah, I can see it now. I can see it now, baby. So that is exactly what we are gonna go with all on the wall in here. Um, with the white bathtub, we're going with gold accents, of course, and, huh, TBD on the floor. I feel like I want a textured floor, like something like pebble, like even like earthy, right? So it can't be this glam stuff, because like, y'all know I like a dressed up jogger, like different, like opposites, right? Like jogger with statement jewelry, which you wouldn't think. So we're gonna go glam, but we're gonna go earthy. All right, so. That is your update, that is your update fix on the house and I promise the, ha the store is open, things are leveling out so I'll make sure and hold me accountable to make sure you get your house updates all the way up until we move in and beyond. Thank you so much for checking out the Sassy Jones Show today. Make sure that you comment, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so that you know when we drop the new, new. If anything, stay sassy and live your best sassy life. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You guys, I forgot to tell you what wallpaper I decided to go with on the side of the fireplace. So are you ready? Three, two, one. Bam! Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going with the lighter one. We're definitely going with the silver and the gold. Like, this is beautiful for another time, place, and moment. But as for me, in this home, it's this one. What'd y'all pick? You, you, you gonna say you picked the same thing. No, you didn't. You couldn't have. Ain't no way. So this is the one. Yay.